What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and it's been a while I know since I made my last video, and that's because this summer has been so awesome, I really haven't had much time to make videos, but that will change, and I really hope you guys understand. So the reason I'm making this video is to show all iPhone 4 on Verizon users how to jailbreak firmware 4.2.10. Now this has been out for a while, I know, but this is a tethered jailbreak, and for this we're going to be using Red Snow 0.9.8 Beta 7. Now this will work as well on iOS 4.3.5 and iOS 5 Beta 7. Now you will need separate firmwares for that. I'm really not going to go into detail on iOS 5 Beta 7 because you do need to be a developer and I'm really not a fan of beta firmwares. They are unstable and very laggy. Now if you guys are looking to jailbreak iOS 4.3.5, it is tethered as well, but I do have a separate guide for that and I'll put an annotation right there. It's much easier just to click on that instead of watching this video because it is much more detailed. Now for those of you that are jailbreaking iOS 4.2.10, once again it is tethered and this will work on both Mac and Windows. If your iPhone is on 4.2.9 firmware, you'll want to update to 4.2.10. If it's 4.2.8 or lower like mine, you really don't want to update because it is a tethered jailbreak. And if you guys still don't know what tethered means, basically you will need a computer to restart your iPhone if it turns off or if the battery dies or else it will be stuck on the Apple logo. Okay guys, so we can go ahead and begin. Make sure your iPhone on Verizon is plugged in and go ahead and download the two things I provide down below in the description. There will be a link down below, click on it and there you'll find download links for Red Snow 0.9.8 Beta 7 and your 4.2.10 firmware. Now if you guys are jailbreaking 4.3.5 or iOS 5 Beta 7 using this video, you will want to download that firmware and use it with this version of Red Snow. But once again, I am just focusing on the iPhone 4 on Verizon in this video. And if you guys want to know how to downgrade and get an untethered jailbreak, I'll be posting a video soon. I'll put an annotation right there once the video is up. Okay, so go ahead and right click on Red Snow, run as administrator. If you're on a Windows computer, of course, click yes. And we're going to browse for our 4.2.10 official firmware. It's going to process it. We're going to click next. It'll patch it. And here we get some options. I'm not going to check anything else, just going to click next. And here we're going to put our iPhone into DFU mode. Now many of you guys know you don't have to turn it off to put it into DFU mode. So I'm just going to skip this step and go ahead and put it into DFU mode right away. So hold power and home for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, to one, let go of the power button and keep holding the home button until Red Snow recognizes your iPhone. Okay, and now it's jailbreaking and once it's done, I'll be right back. Okay, and once the jailbreak is done, your iPhone will reboot and on your springboard, you will see Cydia. Now it will be white and it will crash. That's perfectly normal. So what I'm about to show you is what you have to do every single time your iPhone battery dies or you have to restart your iPhone. Otherwise, it will be stuck on the Apple logo. So just like last time, open up Red Snow, run as administrator if you're on Windows, browse for your 4.2.10 firmware, click next, it'll patch the kernel, and this time we're just going to select just boot tethered right now, and we're going to click next, again put our device into DFU mode, so power and home for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. It's exploiting it, you can let go of the home button and once it's done you will see the pineapple which means it is working and your iPhone will reboot in just a second. Okay, once again your iPhone will reboot and this time Cydia will be colored and you will be able to open it without crashing. And that's how you do it guys, you are now jailbroken on iOS 4.2.10 on your Verizon iPhone 4. So thanks for watching this video guys, I really appreciate it. There's more videos coming soon, so please subscribe for more great videos. Please rate this video and comment, and enjoy your jailbroken iPhone guys, have fun.